Radio transmissions and 911 calls are shedding a little light on what led to a Fairfield police officer shooting a man. Officer Scott Conklin shot and killed 23-year-old Caleb Surface late Saturday night. Local 12's Anjanette Levy has been listening to the calls and combing through Officer Conklin's personnel jacket. She joins us now with what she's learned. Anjanette? Well, Cammie, Officer Conklin has been a police officer for 15 years, first here in Cincinnati, the last 10 years in Fairfield. But recently there had been some issues with him at work. Conklin was looking for Caleb Surface Saturday night after the 23-year-old's father called 911. Get out of here. You're going to have to send somebody pretty quick, man. He's out of control. Sir, they're on, their, they're on their way. Saturday night, Caleb Surface's father called 911. Caleb had broken into his father's home on Spyglass Hill Court. Yeah, he's in his room. He okay. just tried to open his, the door, grab a knife or something. I almost had to shoot him. Caleb's father said his son was intoxicated. He ran out of the house. Police started looking for Caleb. The subject that we're looking for is also potentially suicidal. He was asking to be shot, and then he began to try to cut his wrist. Officer Scott Conklin caught up with him nearby on St. Andrew's Court. We got 2028 St. Andrews. I got my gun police claim to have a firearm on. Ten seconds later, Officer Conklin called for help. There are three shots fired. Shots fired at 2028 20, St. Andrews Court. Caleb Surface's family said he had struggled with chemical dependency and he had a criminal record. Officer Conklin's personnel file included some commendations. He was called an experienced and knowledgeable officer, but over the last year he'd had some problems. Fairfield Police Chief Mike Dickey wanted to fire Conklin last November. He'd been reprimanded for taking excessive sick time, failing to show up for court once, and not following up on investigations. It's not clear whether that had anything to do with Saturday night's shooting. Now, a memo shows Officer Conklin was able to keep his job through an agreement the union had reached with the city. He's on a standard administrative leave tonight. Reporting live from the newsroom, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami? All right, Anjanette, thank you. And the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations is heading this investigation. The results will be presented to a Butler County grand jury.